Hey, what is up guys? It's your voice feed here and today we're gonna be talking about eight pro combos combos that yes Well the pros are using that are really strong right now. This isn't necessarily lane combos Typically I make my videos around lane combos like heroes You can pick together and stomp like minute zero to minute ten But these are combos that yeah sure some of them are gonna be good in laning stage But just are more in general good together just kind of heroes that naturally work together and you should look to pick in your pubs I think this video really applies to you guys or just everyone in general because, you know, what, what you see in pubs is that your supports pick first and then typically when you see one of these supports, you can then pick your cores accordingly. But a lot of the time people don't know what to pick. So hopefully this video will help you with that. All right, and let's hop into it. And I do want to let you guys know that I just made a full length analysis, um, draft analysis and in-game analysis of OG versus Nigma game two. On top of that, I made a full draft analysis of that series as well. So there's two draft analysis and one in-game analysis on the website. Those will never come to YouTube. So if you're looking to get a content that's going to help you get to the next level and understand Dota on a higher level, as well as just have a good time, click the link down below. Honestly, it's really worth it, guys. There's even a refund policy. Of, like, if you don't like it for whatever reason, it's not expensive. If you don't like it, you can just get a refund. So go try it. I, I really do think it's a, it's a worthwhile investment. It's going to save you a lot of time. And now let's get into the video. Getting into our first devastating combo of the patch is Void Snapfire. This one has been getting picked by a complete variety of teams. Snapfire still, after being nerfed, seems to be one of the top supports of the patch. The minus armor, raw damage she does at level 3, level 6 is like, I mean, Willow at 6 might do like the highest damage of any support in the game, obviously depending on how spells are cast, but like, like reliable damage. You know, for instance, Winter Wyvern, he's got to he's got to land an ultimate and a and a, and a well placed W and hit people, multiple people, to get his maximum damage. Snapfire, he just kind of globs someone down and they die from across the map. I mean, I was watching Taika solo kill people from like literally mid to to their triangle. I think he who was it he killed um Seb's Beastmaster. That was crazy. And combos like this, regardless of if Void was even in that game, um, it it just. It shows you how strong certain heroes can be alone, and then when you combine them with your, like, faceless Void, it gets nuts. In the early game, Void lacks damage. Right? Void lacks damage. The hero simply doesn't do damage. Snapfire does all the damage in the early game. You combine these heroes together, you get the perfect combo. A laning duo that just crushes people. A early to mid game combo that Snap kind of just carries, right? But Snap, what does she lack? I would say stuns, right? Lockdown, her cookie's unreliable. Void. Probably the most reliable stun in the game, right? So there you go, it just, it just works. And in the late game, Void kind of takes over. Snap falls off in the late game, let's just be real, right? Her ultimate it becomes mediocre, just falls off. It's not terrible, but yeah, it, it gets weaker. Her E gets harder and harder to use. Cookie, when people get movement speed and BKBs, becomes very difficult to connect with. And so Void kind of takes over the pace of the game then. And so it's really a beautiful combo. Then we have Mars Phoenix. I'll keep this one really simple. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with the combo. I just think that this lane and, and team fight is, it's just nuts. It's been nuts. It's still nuts. It's still just really good in the lane, right? Mars kind of dominates level one, level two. God's Rebuke and Bulwark, where God's Rebuke and Spear is just a ridiculous level one, level two spike, which a lot of heroes, you know, they don't really come online to level three, especially Phoenix, right? His Fire Spirits, they do 15 damage per second at level one, 35 at level two. That is more than a double increase and you get four of them right so uh you can see why that lane is good they kind of cover each other's weaknesses similar to void and snap and in the mid game they just pair incredibly well people are inside the the arena they can't hit the egg on top of that how do you typically deal with phoenix well you either kill his egg with a hero like jug or you counter him by picking like a centaur and you run away you kite it out you just run away from sunray you run away from his spirits you run away from his egg you can often run away from this hero and mars prevents that then we have clock doxia i think i covered this combo recently so i really won't go crazy about it but if you aren't too familiar with this combo clock and darkseer work particularly well mainly because of their early laning stage a lot of the time for Darkseer in the laning stage, the hero sort of has to, he has to chill, he doesn't do much, he has to chill, right? People can kind of just walk under the tower and avoid him, because Darkseer shoves the wave in constantly, right? So, what is the best tower diving hero in Dota? I would argue, it's Clockwork. I would easily argue it's Clockwork, because you turn on Battery Assault, 
it does a ton of damage, and you don't have to click them. And that's how Tower Aggro works. If you don't click the enemy, you don't really have to tank it if there's creeps there. And then you put a shell on them, hopefully a level 2 shell, hopefully a level 2 battery assault, and uh, yeah, it kills basically any carry that doesn't have a form of ability. And you can imagine that that's quite a bit of them. Even if you're like PA, you just kind of surge and run her down. Same thing with Animage, there's a chance after he blinks away, he still dies. Hero like Terrible just feeds, right? Slark often just feeds, and it's really tough. Then, this one is weird. This is probably the most unorthodox out of all the combos so far, and that is Dusa and Bloodseeker. This is a combo that OG picked, and I'm a big fan of it, yeah. I know OG's struggling. I actually think they still will make TI. I'm very hopeful. I really want to see them win it three times in a row. I have a lot of love for, for OG as a team. I, uh, you know, I hope to meet and play with all of their players at some point in my life. And actually, I've played with Notel before. He didn't talk in the mic, but he played Silencer. Getting back to the point, they picked Dusa Bloodseeker. I love the concept here. Number one, people tend to run away from Dusa. Bloodseeker has rupture. Okay, that's nice. On top of that, you have some really good team fight with the Blood Ray and the Stone Gaze. But the major amp here really just comes in from Blood Rage. Yeah, Blood Rage. Dusa doesn't really tank a lot of damage to her HP, right? The hero just naturally doesn't really need her HP pool, unless she's literally, like, straight up dying, which is pretty hard to, to accomplish against Dusa. And so you have Bloodseeker, whose Blood Rage takes away HP doesn't affect your mana, really, right? And so you give Dusa, if you have the Blood Rage talent at level 10, 150 attack speed. 150 attack speed. Also 16% spell amp with the axe is pretty freaking good. And the shard, by the way. And if you get the level 25 talent, Mjolnir with the spell lamp with uh, split shot modifiers is insane. You can imagine how much damage you do if you get to level 25 on Dusa and you get blood raged, people cannot walk up to you. They will die. It is basically max attack speed with a giga, you know, Mjolnir prox. It's nuts. Next up on the list, I know we're going back to Snapfire, but this hero is very popular. But it's Brood Snapfire. I recently just watched Team Liquid pick this. They took down OG with this, and it looked really insane. Number one, you have a lot of minus armor. Really good with the spiders, really good with Brood in the early game, right? Brood with her insatiable hunger in the laning stage. Super nice. What does Brood lack in the early game? I would say Lockdown. You know, the cookie, it's very easy to line up with Brood. On top of that, landing cookie with Brood is actually easier than a lot of other heroes because you can path anywhere, right? You don't really get like messed up by trees. And you can come out of nowhere. You can just like walk into the trees, get cookie. They won't see it coming. And you can stun them up that way if you need to. Not that that's really how you usually use cookie, but it can be to solo kill supports when Brood is level like 4-5 and same thing with Snap. But yeah, they just kind of killed OG over and over again. The Sven and the AA, which is typically a pretty good lane, just struggled. They, yeah, they just really, really struggled. It was rough to watch. It really was. I mean, they almost ended up killing the Brood a few times, but Insatiable Hunger with the minus armor and the stun from the Snap. Proved to just be too much. It was too much damage. And then on top of that, if anyone, anyone gets caught out by a brood and there's a Snapfire ulti to follow it up, whew, not fun. Next up is a combo that's existed since the beginning of time. Literally, since the Big Bang, Mag Jug has existed, but it's coming back. I could say Mag Jug, Mag PA, even Mag Lifestealer, Mag Ursa. They're all pretty good right now. I think Mag Jug is probably my favorite out of all of them. I just think it, uh, it kind of covers Mag's early game weakness, which is fighting. Jug is really nice because he can kind of take over those early game fights, spin an Omni Slash, super useful. PA, yeah, you know, meh. Unless she won her lane, she's super meh in the early game. And so Jug, I, I think that combo is just super good. Omni Slash with Empower does like some dummy amount of damage, a dummy amount of damage. And you can't get stunned. Let's say Mag gets a good RP and you Omni Slash, you can't get like stunned. Or PA could get like gripped or overgrowth. They're just like you know, stunned if she doesn't have BKB. So I think this combo's nuts. People are picking Mag. Sometimes it's hard to, like, un really understand why pros are picking a certain hero. I think they just like picking Mag with, with like, Phoenix and Willow and Snap. There's just a lot of, like, ranged fours right now, even Lion, that are pretty good right now. And, um, yeah. I think that's kind of why people like Mag. And buying Vanguard is pretty legit on him, so there's that too. Next up is Tiny AA. I played this in a game recently. It was nuts. You know, it, it was really funny, no matter where the enemy team was on the map, for instance, there was a Jug, even though I messed up my Avalanche combo, it was really sad. Uh, but I told my AA, hey, Jug's gonna go farm the top wave, send a blast, and I'll kill him. 
And it's true, if I hit my Avatos combo, he would have died. There were many other scenarios, though, where we did hit our combo. That just, that one just, ugh, just haunts me. You guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you just, you gotta, you, know, you have a bad, you mess up. You miss your spells. It's tough. It happens. But this combo is, it's just brutal. I mean, the amount of burst, it's, it's on, I'm not going to say it's unmatched, but it's, it's up there, right? Ice Vortex with an AA Blast with a tiny combo. I mean, what hero previous to the 20 minute mark lives that? Really? I mean, even like a Centaur with a hood, he's going to drop to like a third HP after the combo, which is, I mean, that's something to behold in itself. And so I highly recommend this combo. I think AA is a five with like a mid tiny, the amount of, 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 work you can put in with with very little is nuts it's i mean think about it on like a 40 second cooldown you solo kill anyone by the way it's lower than 40 seconds which people don't even realize is another strong thing about it. it's not even 40 seconds because the cooldown is going when you send out the blast so like it's let it's way less than 40 seconds this spell is basically perma up it's <laughs> I mean, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts how good AA Blast is. I've been saying it for a while. Now pros are picking in, so I guess I can be more confident. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I love this combo. Just pick it. You'll see what I'm talking about. And last but not least is TA. Yeah, just TA. I just want to say I think she's good. Uh, the Axe stuff, it's really insane. Nisha picked it recently as well. He went um, Dragonlance, Blink Deso into Axe. The Axe, on a 10 second cooldown, allows you to teleport to any trap and uh, you can imagine what that means you can tp to base you can tp top bottom mid to roche yeah anywhere you want and you can just cut the waves and cut the waves and another cool thing is it actually procs the trap when you go to it and so what's really cool is you can buy your shard as well which silences well, you're right trap silence depending on how long they've been uh, put down and yeah you can teleport to the trap it can silence and you can imagine why that would allow you to solo kill people it's pretty nuts. It's really, really fun. You get really farmed compared to even your average TA, which already farms fast. You farm even fast, way faster. And uh, yeah, I cannot recommend this hero enough. I think it's a really good laner. I think it has really good split push. My friends agree. And uh, so yeah, nonetheless, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what combos you've been running in your pubs. You know, just comment them down below. What are you guys going? What are you, what are you, what are you running? You're running some uh, Sven AA like OG? Trying to lose your games? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. That's rough. All right. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace. And that's all. But remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below. And I'm out. Peace.